Right now, I see a huge opportunity for you to leverage your VA loan to buy a house in Fayetteville, North Carolina. So please tell me more. So before I go into this huge opportunity, let me explain what the VA loan does for you. The first thing is this, it's zero down payment to buy a home using your VA loan. So what does that mean exactly? That means if you're looking at a house that's $300,000 in the Fayetteville area, you will pay zero out of pocket for that loan. The VA will give you all $300,000 to buy that home. Where other loans like FHA or conventional could be 3.5 up to 4 up to 5%. So if you're looking to buy a home that's $300,000 and your down payment is 3%, that'd be $9,000 you'd be coming out of pocket. If you're to put 5% down on a $300,000 home, that'd be $15,000 out of pocket. You have any good news? So these other loans only going to loan you $285,000 if the house is $300,000 and you have to come up with $15,000. $15,000 is a big chunk of change if you're looking to buy a house that's $300,000. That's the biggest chunk of change for any house, in my opinion. So this is an opportunity to take advantage of your VA loan and put zero down. Another great benefit of the VA loan is typically VA interest rates are usually 0.5 for 1% less than conventional loans. Another great benefit is there's no PMI, which is private mortgage insurance. And private mortgage insurance is an insurance that helps the lender just in case the buyer, you, defaults on the loan. Now, of course, if you're going to buy a home in Fayetteville, North Carolina and use your VA loan, it has to be your primary resident. And of course, if the military is moving you here and your PCS in here, this gives you an opportunity to take advantage of your BAH to purchase your home in Fayetteville, North Carolina. So I say take advantage of that tax-free BH money and buy yourself a home. It's a great investment opportunity, especially in our market. I think it's one of the strongest markets because we're near Fort Bragg, obviously, one of the largest military bases on the East Coast. In my opinion, why would you want to rent a home and not take advantage of this tax-free money? And I'm, of course, I'm a little biased because <laughs> I'm a real estate agent. But I think real estate is the best way to invest your money. It's safer than a stock market. It's somebody you, something you can touch. Unlike the stock market, you can touch your house. You can feel it. All that good stuff. Love on it. Whatever the case may be. Touch it. Typically, we would have four to 5,000 active homes on the market in the Fayetteville area to be a balanced market where it's, where it's safe for, well, not safe, but where it's fair for buyers and for sellers. But right now, it's been a seller's market here locally since the big pandemic of 2020, and it just keeps climbing and climbing. Just to give you an example, right now, I've got a listing that is pending, and I helped this couple buy this home for $193,000 a year and a half ago. They are now moving back to Ohio, their home state, and we just went under contract for this house for $260,000. We have my attention. And if you're doing the math in your head, they're going to make $67,000 in a year and a half. Another example I have to give you is myself. So me and my wife bought our first home in 2007 here in Fayetteville, and we just recently sold it. We bought it for $105,000 in 2007. We just sold it for $190,000. So, of course, owning this home for almost 16 years, we our payoff amount was around $73,000. So we made over $100,000 after we sold this home. The house I live in currently, I bought for $172,000. It is now worth around $270,000. And I bought this house back in 2015. And real quick, I want to put a red fan in the Fayetteville market area. So right now, the average medium, well, the median price home in Fayetteville is around $220,000 last month, up 17.6 since last year. Average up... Uh, uh, Price per square foot is 134000 up 9.3 since the last year. Just to show you this graph, this is a five-year graph. So from 2019, if you look, houses were like, you know, just below 150000 medium price range. So the, obviously COVID hit, here you go, and it's been climbing ever since. And if you look at medium price range, 220 up 17.6 from last year. Number of holes, number of homes sold is down. That's just because we don't have a lot of inventory here. And medium days on market is six days. So right now it's a great opportunity if you are a seller of a home. But as a buyer, it's a little tough. Not gonna lie to you, be transparent with you. But just to show you this graph, um, you're looking at 220 in you know, 2021, it went down a little bit. 
keeps climbing, keeps climbing, keeps climbing. And then this past right just over this beginning of 2023, it was down to here, around 200,000 and shot up to 220. And if you look, how hot is the Fayetteville housing market? We're at 89%. So the next great opportunity is let's say you want to retire here in Fayetteville. You are now setting yourself up for a great retirement home. So let's say, we'll say 10 years on average left. If you're going to do 20 years in the military and you buy the house here, you move away, you rent out the property, you keep it, you hang on to it. And let's say in 10, 12, 15 years, you decide to move back to Fayetteville. The cost of living here is competitive to other states, is definitely a whole lot better than California, New York, Florida, things like that. But of course, that could change in the next 10, 15 years. But I think we're going to be competitively low still compared to those other years. I've lived in favor for the past 35 years. And obviously, cost of living has increased since then, since 35 years ago. But it's nothing like where I see other states are much higher cost of living. And let's say you don't you don't want to retire here. Now, if you bought a house for say three hundred thousand in the next ten to fifteen years, it could be worth over four hundred four hundred fifty thousand dollars. That means you can sell that house and move to your desired retirement area. And now you've made one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Make money, money, make money. Now the BAH here right now for twenty twenty three, if you're an E five, is around five hundred and fifty dollars a month with dependents. Without dependents, I think it's like fourteen hundred dollars. So definitely a good BAH in my opinion. If you're looking to buy here and your house is around between two fifty and three hundred thousand, it's going to vary because of course the house, you know, location location. If you're looking for a house on a county, it's going to be a little cheaper tax wise and house wise than if you are looking right in the middle of the heart of Fayetteville. So one thing that comes up a lot is, can I still use my VA loan to buy another house, even though I have a loan here in Fayetteville? And yes, you can. The VA entitlement, VA entitlement is right now at 762000 actually went up a couple from last year. So let's see, buy a house here for 300000 you would have 462000 left on your VA entitlement. And you can get another home if you move to another duty station if you want to. And why not take advantage of that tax-free BH, like I said earlier, and invest that money and buy a home for your future? He's buying my house as an investment. So another reason I think it's great to purchase a home here in Fayetteville and the surrounding areas is because good cash flow and a good appreciation market. I, as I mentioned earlier, appreciation is usually you know two to three percent every year on a home, and I showed you the graph on Redfin, but also. It's a great rental area. So if you buy the house here and you get moved to another duty station, right now the rents are typically about 10% higher than they were last year. Of course, things like that can change over the years, but right now it's a great rental market. So if your mortgage is like, we'll say $1,500, you could possibly rent out your house for $1,600, $1,700. You're not making a ton of money, but they're definitely going to pay your mortgage and you can make an extra couple hundred dollars a month. And of course, with you building up equity in your home and the couple of years, you can get a line of credit from the bank. What does that mean? So let's say you buy a house for $300,000 and then let's say you owe maybe $200,000 on the home now. You've got $100,000 in equity, possibly more that you could borrow from your house, your bank, and buy another property. If that's what you're something you're looking to do to build up your, up your portfolio to keep buying homes as investment property. Just to give you an example, that's what my mother did. Uh, she's been a landlord for about 30 years and she's got up to 20 properties now. And what she did when she first started was she bought a house, went a couple years, built equity at home, got a line of credit for $100,000, bought the next home, then bought the next home, then bought the next home. Now she got a portfolio of homes. She could probably walk in any bank just about now and um, they would give her a loan because she's got so much equity in all these homes. and. A bank's not going to give us a loan. Most of these are paid off. Of course, this took her almost 20, 30 years to build up all this. But if you got a long military career and something you want to think about now, I would not think about it later. It's a great opportunity for you. If you enjoyed this video, please check out this other video out where I talk about 10 things you should know if you're PCS in the Fort Bragg, North Carolina. And if you are thinking of buying or selling a home in the local area, please reach out to me. Love to help you. See you guys in the next video.